my name is Leo and welcome to another day of the El oh, sorry, the another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Sorry, totally forgot what I was doing. Uh today we will give you we will be reading Mysticism, the Unfathomable Voyage by oh God, I forgot his name again. Subject Tor Tetronus Law. Um, and I do have some stuff to talk about at the end of this, so stick around if you want a update on my channel. Uh, also I have a bad throat, so I'm sorry if I sound like air. I still have that sore throat that I had yesterday. But hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll be cleared up by tomorrow night for our stream. But if it's not, we'll just do a, a little Michael stream and play some, I don't know, Diablo or Attack on Titan or something. Anyway, alright, onto the, onto the Reddit. Mysticism is the school of magic, least understood by the magical community. Yeah, I'd say that. Most difficult to explain to novice mages. The spell's effects commonly ascribed to the school of mysticism are wildly disparate as soul trap. The creation of a cell for a victim's spirit after death to silence the extension of sound. But these effects are simply that, effects. The sorcery behind them is veiled in a mystery that may go back to the older civilizations of Tamriel and beyond. The subjects of the Order of Atrium learn a term, uh, Atrium's term for mysticism is the old way. The phrase becomes bogged in a semantic quagmire because the old way also refers to the religion and customs of the subjects, which may or may not be part of the magic of mysticism. There are a few majors who devote their lives to the study of mysticism. The other schools are far more predictable and fathomable. Let's try it again. Fathomable. Mysticism seems to derive its power from its conundrums and paradoxes. The act of experimentation, no matter how objectively implemented, can influence the magicka by its very existence. Thus, the, the, the mystic mage must re regulate himself to finding constant patterns in an oh god, okay, I'm gonna look that word up. Hang on. In an imbroglio of energy, imbroglio being a Extremely confused, complicated, or embarrassing situation. Alright. In the time it takes him to find a source with a constant trigger and result, his peers researching in other schools may have researched and documented dozens of new spells and effects. The mystic mage is a patient, an uncompetitive scholar. For centuries, mostly during the Second Era, scholarly journals publishes theory after theory about the aspect or aspects of magicka that we call mysticism. In the tradition of the Mages Guild, uh, to find answers to all things, respected researchers suggested the energy source as coming from Aetherius or the Daedra themselves to explain the seemingly random patterns of mysticism. Some ventured to guess that mysticism comes from unused elements of successfully or unsuccessfully cast spells. Huh. So it's like leftovers? Discussion with the Order of Atri Atrium after its reappearance has led some scholars to postulate that mysticism is more spiritual in nature. Wait, what? More spiritual than that. Either the intellect or emotion of the believer influences the energy patterns and flow. None of these explanations is truly satisfactory. For the beginning student of mysticism, it is best to simple learn the patterns distinguished in the maelstrom in the centuries past. The more patterns are found, the clearer the remaining ones become. Till, of course, they change, and then the journey begins anew. <clears throat> Yeah, that was Mysticism, The Unfathomable Voyage 
by Ted Schroeder's law. Alright, so. Hang on, wait a minute. Let's, let's rest, yeah. Do I slow boom? And then, yeah, we're gonna talk about. I did mention this at the end of the last episode, uh, but I'll say it again now. Is that. Oh god, are we gonna make it through the entire 24 hours? Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow. We made it through the entire 24 hours without getting attacked. That's. Something that's ever happened. Maybe they've given up. Wouldn't that be nice? Still no letters? Nope. Alright. Hold on a second. Pretty cool. Okay, yeah. So as I was saying yesterday, I have got uh, Nip Nip videos, I hope you didn't mention Neptunia Victory that is, videos up until uh, the 22nd, which is next Friday. Um, and after that, I don't have anything recorded, and I'm probably not going to record either. So what that means is, um, unless there is a demand for it, and you're welcome to request it, depending on how much demand I get for it, I will continue at least a little bit more. Seeing as the whole net net thing was supposed to be a one-off, yeah, I mean, it started off as, um, my good friend, uh, Blackjack, who you might have seen in Leo and Friends, has, uh, bought me... I think it was happy to mention Neptune of Victory 2 for on Steam, uh, but my computer just would not run it, and I felt really bad. Uh, at the same time, I think Ava got me uh, Pony Island, we played that. Uh, I played, I recorded a video ages ago, but it never, like, worked until I, like, had to re record it recently by playing it through fucking Windows Video. Yeah, I know, it was really ghetto, but what a lovely anyway. Um, then, uh, yeah, happy to mention Neptune Victory was on sale. So I was like, okay, I'll pick it up, and I'll give it a go. But Jack and, yeah, I, did, I recorded, what, seven episodes at first? And then I was like, yeah, I'm going play some more of this game. But now, especially when you get to, like, next week's videos, you'll, you'll hear in my voice just how meh. <clears throat> I mean, the, the best part about what happens next week is that we get a voice cutscene. For like the first time in forever. And it really annoyed me that the Japanese voice track had pretty much voice, or I, I think, I never didn't check all of it, but I, it felt there were a lot of times where uh, the Japanese would have voice cutscenes, but in the English version it was just text. And you know, I was doing the voices and that was fun, but it, it, nothing really happens in that game. There's a lot of nothing. I mean, I know it's an RPG, you know, but... Like, we've, how many episodes have we done? We've done, like, 40... Well, as of, as of next Friday, there'll be 47 episodes. And we haven't really done much of the game. We fought one of the... Um... Wait, did we actually fight? No, we didn't! But I was gonna say we fought, um... Um, R4. But we didn't actually fight her, if you don't, if you recall. Um, Plutia transformed and, and took care of it for her, us. We didn't actually fight anyone. We actually had, have we, have we actually had a boss fight? That aren't those, like, beefed up enemies in, on the main field? I don't think so. So, I don't know. So, my, my main plan is that, yeah, starting from, uh, the week after next, we'll just be playing this, which is fine by me, <laughs> uh, and then when this game finishes, uh, we'll just be doing, uh, Battle Spire, um, Monday to Friday, uh, in 15 minute episodes, which would, it really, like, ease a lot of pain of doing these recordings. This week's not too bad, because we're doing all the book readings, right, ready for these letters. That's fine. These freaking two-hour episodes. Have you actually had a two-hour episode yet? Maybe not. No, because I've always... I've never actually gone the full day. I've always at, literally run out of time to record. So I've had to just end the day early. Anyway. So yeah, hopefully my throat's better tomorrow for uh, Persona Stream. Otherwise we'll be playing some Attack on Titan or maybe some Diablo. Uh, but for now, my name... Wait. 
Oh, I should actually go back to the first. Technically. Yeah, but we're clearly not getting a lot of today. Nope. We'll get it eventually, don't worry. It's a long time, but it does actually. Alright. Yep, alright, so yeah, for now, we'll, we'll read another book reading tomorrow. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.